Hey guys, welcome back to Outside with Scheib. I got my lawn cut yesterday. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. But today, we're splitting into some of this red oak that I got the other week. Finally got some time to uh, get here and split some. The wood stand's been pretty busy, but uh, this whole toe from the rear modification is probably one of the best modifications that I've done to the splitter. Very, very well worth it. You can pull it away from the pile, you can back it right in to where you need to split. Instead of pulling it up, unhooking, and then have, having to try to get this as close to where you want your pile to be as possible. So anyway guys, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be splitting this stuff. So to go along with that modification over there, I need to do this modification. I needed a way to lift the front to get it on the back. So this was my solution. It's pretty much just like uh, Easton Maid's leg. So, pick it up. Oh. Throw the pin in there. Lower it down. Now it's on there. Come back here. All right, now with that basically disconnected, I'm gonna take this off to get it out of the way. Throw my pin back in here. We're good to go. Let's get this thing fired up and splitting. It's been a long time since I split red oak for myself. So these pieces are gonna be a little bit bigger and I gotta keep myself in the mindset that I'm splitting for myself. So yeah, maybe I'll, I'll definitely get some six way action in today. But I think we're gonna start off with the four way. Eh, maybe the six way, we'll see. See what I get into. Stick with me, we'll get right to it. All right fighting with the GoPro here a little bit but I do have two different four ways this is my stand wood four way I cut the bottom off so I can get smaller pieces this is what the four way looks like when it comes stock minus my modification for uh, the adjustable wedge so I'm gonna switch them out put this back over with my stand wood so I don't lose it and maybe I'll figure out where it is we'll see and as you all know I do have the six-way and I had a question about the six-way was it worth it was it worth getting a six-way and I, I did some thinking about it it's worth it if you have that eight to ten inch round size but if you're going bigger and you don't have an adjustable wedge it's really not worth it but with my wedge being adjustable it's definitely worth getting a six way I can make six equal pieces out of like a 22 or 24 inch round so the six way does have its place and it will get used today I'm sure so anyway enough jaw jack and let's get the splitting
definitely nice having an adjustable wedge because you can, if they're, if they're round with, like that one, if it's just too small to make four equal pieces, you just raise it up, split in half, and half. This would be a good candidate for the six way. Yeah, let's throw the six way on for this one. There we go. So, I'm gonna say this is a good candidate for this one. And you'll see why. Let's get this out the way. And done. That's how I like it. Even with the six way on, I could take this, raise it up, and just blast two pieces out of it. It's pretty good. Again, that's what I was saying. Somebody asked the question, is it worth it? It all depends what rounds you're, uh, you're splitting. You know what I mean? Yeah, these are for myself, so they're going to be a little bigger than what uh, you're normally used to seeing. This is a pretty good candidate for the six-way. Look at that. Done. Done. Too easy, you know what I mean? Way too easy.
there you go guys not too shabby just got a bunch of small stuff over here like one one pounders one hitters whatever you want to call them but uh let me show you this pile pretty substantial pile I said it really doesn't take that long to split this stuff because i like the stuff a little bit bigger than the stand wood here you go That's what I got left over there. Like I said, not, not really that much, but I'll get it. I'll get it. No big deal. Let me give you a look from this other side here. Not too bad. It's probably, if I had to guess, that's probably over a cord, probably a quarter and a third. So four face cords. If I had to guess, and I probably have probably about a face cord here yet to, to split up. So, it ain't too bad. That was all free wood, all free wood. And I'm starting to get my inventory back up for three years down the road because this is what I'm going to start out with here whenever I start burning. I'm going to start here, and if you can see the orange marks. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. You know what I mean? Every orange mark is roughly one cord. So we'll see how many cord I burned this year. Last year it was like two and a half. Plus I didn't count like the undesirables that I burned from the firewood stand stuff. So not too shabby. We'll see how it goes. But this here will definitely, uh, help uh, get the inventory back up for years to come burning for home heating as you can see the darker line there and the lighter line that's all the ash I have left so getting low on ash but it's starting to get cooler out so it'll be time to dig into that uh, that oak just to put it out if people want to use it to heat their homes or even outside fires that even work too so gonna be cool that's all I got for today again I got new shirts so if anybody's interested I'll leave a link in the description you can buy anytime it's on demand so they'll print and ship them so you gotta give them a little bit of time to print and ship so usually it's a turnaround time of seven to ten days so it takes them seven to ten days to print them and get them shipped so another three to five days after they ship so it's not too bad I mean it is what it is so anyway guys that's all i have for today so if you like this type of stuff go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave a comment down below and tell one of your friends who knows maybe they'll like some of this stuff too so see you guys in the next one